All right, welcome everyone. In this video, we're going to go ahead and take a look at how to take your project and export it for Android. All right, so I'm going to use this project here, and this project was just doing a base, like a template or a mock-up uh, for somebody, so don't really wor uh, worry about what it is. You can just take a look at, of course, the project that you are, or that you plan to use. Now, before jumping into what we need to do, I want to point out that if you come down to display and window in your project settings, um, you can keep in mind there, the orientation there is going to matter. That's going to determine whether your app launches in portrait or landscape. So keep that in mind. In this case, of course, I want it in portrait because it's vertical. But all right. So the first thing that you need to do is open up the, uh, the file, the links will all be in the description. We're going to open up the open JDK link. All right. So here on the open JDK link, uh, we're going to use open JDK eight and the hotspot version is fine for what we're going to use it for. Now, in the past, this used to be a download link. Now it's, uh, as you see, it says uh, open up adoptium.net. We can go ahead and click that. It'll just bring, bring us here. Just leave it at uh, Timurian 8, I guess that's how you say it. Uh, and just click latest release, which will be give us our JDK. And you can go ahead and save that. That'll download. Um, obviously, I already have it installed, and I've already got this downloaded to begin with. Um, but you can go ahead and open that up. Go ahead and run it. Whoops. And you'll see, we'll come up with our installer here. We go next. Uh, in my case, I can change, repair, and remove. Um, I'm just going to leave mine on change. Um, so when you get to this point here, this set Java home variable is going to be X'd out like this. The entire feature will be unavailable. Go ahead and click that from your drop down and select will be installed on local machine. And just go ahead and click next and just work your way through. In my case, I'm not going to, nothing's going to happen here, but yours is going to go ahead and go through the installation. And when you're done, of course, hit finish. Now, the other link we're going to need is going to be for Android Studio because we do need the SDK out of there. And there are a few different ways of using or different ways of going the getting this. I prefer using Android Studio, it's just something quick. Um and of course just hit download Android Studio. Agree to their terms and conditions, download, and just run through the installation. And once you hit finish, it should open up. And you should be good to go from there. Once you have both of those installed and downloaded and installed, uh, we can actually jump over to our project now. Here we go. And we can go up to editor settings. And we can go over here to uh, inside of the general tab here. We find export Android. It should be at the very bottom of the list. And you're going to need to locate your SDK path. And the debug key store will get to, will generate that in a moment because you probably wouldn't have come with it. So if you just open up your folders, you're going to navigate yourself to uh, your app data sets, your C drive, users, your username, app data, which may be a hidden folder. And if it is, um, you can just hit the Windows key and type percent app data percent. And that'll also find your way here. And we just go back up to app data, local. And we see Android, and that goes to the SDK folder. So if you can't navigate here inside of your the top path here, then just go into your Explorer, or uh, if you're on Mac, I'm not 100% sure where this is going to be located. But on Windows, we can at least just copy that, come up here, and you can see, say, we're in like this path here. We just hit Paste and Enter, and it'll take us here. And we just want to make sure we have our SDK folder here selected and open up just like this and hit select current folder. And now for the debug key store, we're actually going to need to generate this key. And we're going to use the default key store user and password here that they're using. 
All right, so for our key store, I'm going to go ahead and open up the command prompt in the location of our key tool that we're going to use. So that's just going to be by default in your C drive, program files, Android, and you see a JDK folder. Uh, and then open up the Microsoft folder inside of bin. And if you were to scroll down, you'll find keytool.exe. This is the location we want to open up our command prompt in. So I'm just going to right click here. And you could open a Windows terminal, but nah. I'm just going to click type CMD up here in the path and hit enter. And this will just open up a command prompt already in this directory. And again, the code is going to be down below. Here we go. So we're just going to we're going to use the key tool executable that we have in here, uh, which again is just sitting right here in my folders. And we're going to generate a key, a debug key store key, and we're going to use Android and Android debug, which is uh, the defaults already in Godot. Uh, and we're basically setting the validity for 10,000 days. You could always set that larger if you really want to, but 10,000 should be relatively fine. That's quite a few years. And just go ahead and hit enter. And you see it's going to ask you for your first and last name. Um, you can just put anything in here. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to put debug for all of these. Uh, we'll do DB for province, two-letter country code, DB. Uh, is this correct? Do, 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 do. Yes. And then it'll go ahead and generate your key. Now, in my case, uh, I got a little access denied, probably because I already got one. Uh, and my information is just putting debug in here, so make sure you put some actual information in here. Even if it's not necessarily yours, but you may as well put yours in there, right? It doesn't hurt, and it's specifically your debug key anyway. So it's putting your, your name, uh, organization, if you really have one, uh, city, state, country code, and all that. But, of course, since mine's all fake, I'm coming up with an error here. And that'll be our debug key. So you can go ahead and take that file. Uh, in my case, I've got mine put in my documents here. As you can see in uh, Godot. And right here. And just go ahead and navigate to it and select your debug key store. Now, if you want to create one for release. Then it's going to be. Um, almost exactly the same, but see where we got my game here, you can go ahead and put whatever, uh, whatever name you want for your key store. And that's your alias. And then my game here, Oops. I believe will be your password. And you need to keep those in mind for when you're doing an actual full release. Because you're going to need to use, sign your app with your actual key store, not a debug. When, uh, if you want to upload to something like the Google Play Store. So once you have your debug key store selected here in our settings, we can then go up to project, export, create an Android preset. Of course, hitting add there and select the Android in the drop down. Um, this is with an APK and AAB is going to be going to involve even more steps than what we're using here, but just do an APK. Um, don't need to set the debug because we're already using that. But if you're using a release key, this is where you're going to have to select your key and fill in your user and password that you selected with that key. Uh, I use clear previous install just so that it, it like overwrites it on the device. It's useful. Uh, and if you require any specific permissions, they're going to be down here at the bottom. And these are the permissions that pop up um, when you go to install an app and it's like, oh, this needs Wi-Fi access or this needs permission to send text messages or whatever, right? And then you can go ahead and just hit export project. 
Now, if you're exporting with debug, with this checked off here, it's going to use your debug key. And you can see I've got one right here. Alrighty. I'm going to go ahead and copy this. All right. So you can go ahead and hit save, and it'll go ahead and create your APK. Uh, uh yes. This is because I tried uh, messing with uh, a few other things. You shouldn't get this pop up or this message. Um, that's because I was messing with a few things. Uh, trying to get some other things to work, but you should not get those that pop up or anything. All right. So now that I've located myself here, I can see I've got an APK, and I can test that just by I'm using BlueStacks here as an emulator. And I just can just drag it in to do an install. And we see, there we go, it installed, and it's running. Now, you can, obviously, since you have an Android, if you're doing this, you can sideload it onto your phone if you wanted to using your computer uh, for testing, or once you've got the export template uh, selected, I'm going to go ahead and close that, and then the presets here. Um, if your phone is plugged in with a USB, you might be able to uh, select an Android option at the top, top right, where we normally have our play buttons for our scene. In my case, it doesn't work, so I can't do that with my phone. Uh, but maybe you can do that with your phone, and you can use that for a quick test without having to do an export. But there you go. That's it. That's all we got to do to export or set up our project to be able to export to a Android device.